Oh yeah, I did it at the World Series. I did it at the Astro Stadium. Did so it at Minute Park. So whose idea was it? It was my idea. Gentleman Club Diary. Yo, yo, it is your boy Invincible, and you are tuned into another episode of the Gentleman Club Diary. Goddamn, I forgot I have a mint in my mouth. Just making sure that I smell good when I'm <laughs> speaking to Kelsey Kane, right? Hello. Because she said last time my breath was kicking, but now I got, I got, <laughs> now you got under control. I got it under control. <laughs> All right, Kelsey Kane, I want to know. Let me hurry up and get this shit out of my mouth. Goddamn. I want to know, because I, I did some research. Okay. And as far as my understanding, you like your favorite uh, golfer is, is Tiger Woods. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Wow, you did some research. I did some Hold research. Up. You Tiger did some Woods. research. Tiger Woods is her, her fucking favorite golfer, right? Yes. So you're a golfer. I am a golfer. Yeah, I played all yeah. four years Minish, in high school. Miniature golfer. So like no. for, the, for like five and under, <laughs> fucking awesome. Fucking, I'm hey, they're fucking I'm the best. I'm actually terrible at mini golf. The worst. Min okay, so not miniature golfing, but on a real golfing. The whole, real, the whole real thing. Real golfing. Real You're golf. really good, right? Yes, I am. I actually haven't played in a couple years because um, I've been real busy. But yes, I used to play varsity. I coached for many years. That's crazy. No one has asked me about that the entire time. About golf. In look, 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 look at it. I did watch your porn. I did see you got a nice muffin. Or is that what you call it? What would you call it? A muffin? <laughs> What would you call it? A I think it's like that. Yeah, it's not, yeah we can muffin. go with muffin. I you like muffin. You got a fat one. You yeah, a fat yeah. One. But that's not all I looked at. Thank okay. you. That's so I, cool. I, I, wow. I did look at. I said. I said. Okay. She. She's into golfing. You yeah. know why? Because I've always wanted to do golfing. It's and hard. Is it? Yes. I. I, I assume it was. It is I, hard, and it's a lot of skill, and it's a lot of practice. Like it is. It's a game of a lifetime. It takes yeah. forever. It's. Oh, but it's the best though. Is I love it? it. Yeah. And then you were like a hunter, you hunted, and, and you know, I just recently went to Texas, so I seen they were like all into hunting, and they had like these deer fucking... Deer heads everywhere, yeah. yeah every... I, mean, I didn't grow up in Texas, I grew up in Chicago, but yes, yeah, we I, I, I do know that you... Yeah, we hunted, yeah, I lived on 10 acres, you deer hunt and stuff. Yeah. Like, so, I can bow hunt. Yeah, you could do yeah. it, you could do it, oh, hunt. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. crazy, no one has asked me about that, that's nah. nuts. <laughs> yeah, all right, and then um, I did see you're into raves, right? Yes, so, I, I love... You love raves? You be Fucking I'll be mm -hmm. head banging like a yeah. motherfucker. So a, a, a porn star did invite me to a rave. She was like, hey, you need to come. You need to do some ecstasy with me. I've never done ecstasy, so I don't know what is that. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming because you like raves. Yes. What is that feeling like? Because I don't is, know anything about that. It is the best feeling ever. It's very euphoric. It's just you're just the happiest you've ever been. You're so happy and you're just so like. You just love life. Everything so, is amazing. If me and you did X right now, what would it be like? It, in this what would setting, I be doing? it would what, be this would be too calm. We need a lot more lights. We need music. music. We need music. We need music and lights. What would I be doing? You would be just dancing. You'd I'll be, be like, dancing. I'll be girlfriend. And there's a lot of like when you're on uh, when you do that, you would just like you're very touchy. Like you're very touchy with everyone around you. Yeah. That's why it's a big like orgy. Is that weird drug. though? No. no. I mean, unless you do it with people that you think are weird. No, nah, usually nah, you don't nah, do nah. shit. Hey, <laughs> like if I was to go with you, to, now I want to go to a rave with you because I'm like, I one of my uh, one of my friends. We went to uh, EDC together, and mm -hmm. the last like two hours, I just couldn't stop stroking his arm. Like oh, I just couldn't, I couldn't let go of his arm. I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. I just really can't. <laughs> I just can't on the arm. stop. He's like, it's all right. I was like, I just really like your arm right now. Hey, that's crazy that an <laughs> arm could turn you on. A it arm. did. I was a big yeah. fan of that dude's arm yeah. that day. So his arm was in, in. So have you ever done it? Because like, where I'm, I had a studio, a photo studio mm -hmm. in a San Bernardino area. Yeah. And right there, they had like a lot of the, uh, what is it, Nocturnal? I think Nocturnal yes, Wonderland. Nocturnal Wonderland. So they had like a bunch of those and they were always going mm -hmm. on and people used to rent my studios, Airbnb. Um, you ever go to any of those? Um, I've gone to other Insomniac events. I've never been to Nocturnal Wonderland. I've been to, uh, oh my gosh, what's the other one? I don't know. You got to tell me. It's coming up. One of the other Wonderlands. I've been to EDC, um, but I prefer Excision events over Insomniac events. Well, I don't know. I don't even, did I introduce you? Yeah. Is that on Kelsey Kane? Kelsey Kane, but she got a big booty. I do. And she makes some explicit movies. I, I do. And you know what? I didn't realize you have a big ass booty. How did, where did you get that booty from? Uh, horseback riding as a kid. Fucking horseback riding? Yeah. What the fuck? You just do all kinds of like adventurous shit? <laughs> I grew up on a fucking farm, dude. Did you? For real? Yeah, for real. Uh, Chicago. When I think of Chicago. I didn't grow up. So like, I'm one of those people that's like, oh, I'm from Chicago. Until someone mm. else is like, I'm from Chicago. And I'm like, oh, then I am not oh. from Chicago. I'm from like 45, 
Fifty miles you're out of the, Chicago. Oh, from the damn. sticks. Yeah. So you're not from okay. I'm not from downtown. Okay, so she does have a booty, right? And I didn't see the booty. You walked in. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? I mean, even if you think of it's perv, you'd be like, look at here you go. I can stand perv. up if that's stand what you're up. asking that's what for. I'm, that's if that's yeah. what you wanted. God damn, girl. God damn. God damn. She can go in, huh? Hey, even your friend is like, God damn. She's like, <laughs> she, she sees it a lot. <laughs> She's like, my friend got a heavy duty booty. I ain't playing. <laughs> yeah. So um you're from Chicago. Are you a Kanye West fan? No. Fuck Kanye? Um, it's not like fuck Kanye. I'm just like not like a that kind of music fan. Yeah. Okay. What kind of music fan are you? I'm a country music fan and EDM. Okay. So the two most disliked genres of music are my are favorite. Your, okay. These poor girls listening to sad country music and EDM on the way here. Yeah. Hey, country music is a big thing right now, though. Yes, like, it I, came back all of a sudden. It was but, like you got shit on. I got shit on my whole life. For country, country, for lucky music, country music. And now everyone's like, oh, country's the fucking best. I'm like, all right, bandwagon motherfuckers, yeah. You know why? Show up now. Because country music kind of has like a, what, what does it have? Like an R&B twist right now? Is mm -hmm. that what it is? Yeah. Like an R&B hip hop. It has like a it? hip hop beat, yeah. 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 Okay, so all right. All right, all right. so you're big on music, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so um, as far as like what you were bumping coming here, what were you bumping coming in? Uh, we were listening to some Zach Bryan, which is mm -hmm. just some sad country music. Okay, so. Um, we were listening to some Muscadine Bloodline, which is also some sad country sad. music. You were just like sad <laughs> What's up with the sad country music? I don't know. It was just like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I like it. It's you actually like it? heart happy. It just like feels like lovey. I don't uh, know. Have you had your heart broken before? Oh, yeah. 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 And yeah. then we also were listening to some EDM. We were listening to some Sullivan King and Excision on the way uh -huh. here, too. So how do you dance to the EDM music? Cause I, uh, you're just like... Like how like if it's going on, how do you dance? You're like, just like, what's the movements? What's the first move? It's you always it's hand? always head banging. Just head always banging, like okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and then sometimes you got like some hand twists in there. I don't know, you just do whatever feels yeah. right in the moment. Yeah, There's I, no correct way to dance to EDM. Okay, all right. So you're kind of uh a newcomer, right? Yes, only ten months in. To to, to porn. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what's your uh what have you learned from doing porn so far? Uh, what do you mean? Like, what have I learned about like um, porn or life or sex? That was such um, a broad you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Um, <laughs> what have you learned about yourself doing porn, and what have you learned about us dudes? So it's two questions. Two questions. What have I learned about myself? Um, I've learned that um, doing what actually makes me happy instead of worrying about what other people think is way better in life. Mm -hmm. I'm a lot happier now. Mm -hmm. um, and I've learned about dudes that there are actually a lot of men that are very, very respectful and understanding and you can be in a relationship and still sleep with other people and it not be a big deal and it not not affect your relationship so open relationships yes. yeah you're open to open relationship yes oh i did see that she like did it like in a what did you did in a fucking uh world series stadium oh yeah i did it at the world series I did it at the astro stadium did so, it whose, Park. so whose idea was it it was my idea I had to convince this motherfucker. You're fucking crazy, huh? He was like, we're going to get caught. I was like, no, we're not. I was like, we keep arguing about it. We are. Fucking take your dick out. Hold, hold on. So you fucking, where did you, like, how did it happen? So we were roaming around. We were looking for. So this is a true story. This is a true fucking story. This is a true story. We were at, it, was uh -huh. game, it was game two. Uh -huh. we, were we were up five. Yeah. And we went on a walk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what game was it? Because I, 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 Chicago Cubs, right? No, it was the Astros. Astros. And, oh my God, who are we playing? I'm fucking way off. Huh? I don't know. I don't fucking know. We were uh, playing. It was, the Astros. Know, but we, it was the Astros and whoever was in the okay, World Series. Okay, the Astros and somebody, and she, what happened? So we got up. We were walking around. We were going to get like a beer or something. We had to take the stairs, and the stairway was fucking empty. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we could fuck here really fast. Like, Damn. that's a good story. That He's was like, your decision. It was my idea. It was the yeah. first thing I thought. Usually, most places I walk into, my first thought is, where can we fuck? But that's not... Relevant. Anyways, uh, so I was like, we could fuck here. And he was like, that's a terrible idea. I was like, that's a great, that'd be a great fucking story. That's a great idea. He's like, what do you got? I was like, if we keep spending time arguing about it, we are. Take your fucking dick out. Man. And I was wearing a dress anyway. Packed my dress up. We fucked. We almost didn't get caught. But we didn't. And it was fine. We Man. fucked for like three minutes. Hey, you a wild one, huh? Yeah, I just like to fuck. Yeah, you like to fuck? I love to fuck. What kind of guys do you like to fuck? Um, Who do you like to fuck? Built cowboys. So I'm out of the fucking picture. <laughs> If I had muscles <laughs> and I was a fucking cowboy, I might have, but I'm fucking at it. So I gotta, so well, I'm, I'm light skinned it though. I'm light skinned. There you go, there you go. Yeah, that, 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 that had nothing to do with what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, All right. I didn't make a single comment about uh, so, that. So Mexicans are probably not in the. the I mean, if they were built in a cowboy. Mm, okay. they would hey, be you know, cowboy. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Though. I appreciate your honesty. There you go, yeah. So you like built cowboys. I do. Um, 
do they got to be okay so where you're from chicago mm -hmm. is there is that what's out there or um where my part of like since i live so far from the city there were there were some cowboys around yeah. where are you at now where are you residing? i live here I live in vegas. you're in vegas so uh, you got you got that style out here? Oh, what's... yeah. I got I got a cowboy out here. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So wh where do you go party at? I mean, like, what's, what's I mean, where's the cowboy? Because look at where I'm at in California. There's mm -hmm. a cowboy. I actually met my cowboy in California. I met him in Hollywood. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. He lives here, though, just like me. Okay. So you're, you're. He's also in the industry, so that helps. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What is it like? Um, is he understanding with what you do? Yes. He is. Uh, he is actually my biggest supporter. No one supports me the way that he is. He mm. is. He is more excited for my career than I am some days. You know what I find that that dope because um, I've actually me managing running a club, mm -hmm. a, a strip club. I've actually witnessed some girls that would have like their partners. They were super supportive, and what they do. And me personally, I would be super supportive of no. my girl because I want her to make her money and do her thing. Mm -hmm. Now, have you danced before? Yeah, I stripped for many years. Are you still dancing? Uh, every once in a while, I work at Spearmint Rhino. Uh, I show Here, up, yeah, I show up like once every leg. Like, Six weeks. Okay, then she's hard to find. But, but I if, do post on my socials every time that I'm gonna be there. I do, okay, if you I do need let to, the motherfuckers know. If you need to find her, I might go there. I'm not a customer, but <laughs> goddamn, Kelsey Kane got that booty like that. Goddamn, I might need to go see you. You should. Are you, are you there tonight? No. Why not? Because I'm going to an after party tonight. Well, okay. Well, you could be making a gang of money. See, if you had like. It's AVN week. There's enough going on. I'm not adding uh, more. Work. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So. <laughs> you crazy? All right, all right. You at the Spearman Rhino, right? Yeah. Um, uh, what, what's your, what's stripping compared to porn? What's it like? Um, porn is significantly better. It has made me oh, not, shit. I don't really like going to the club as much anymore, to be honest. Porn, you know what, you're the second person that told me that. Now, the first person I interviewed today, she says she liked fucking stripping. But the second person is like, nah, I don't really like it. I don't really like it anymore. Nah? Is, is it because you got to give, like, lap dances and all that? Yeah, it's you got to give lap dances. You don't know how much money you're making in the night, which can, like, be good and bad. But, like, I prefer to just show up to set and know, like, what the I'm fuck being you're doing, paid right? this amount of money, and I'm going to be here for this many hours, and I'm going to do this. Yeah. But, like, dancing, like, you show up, you don't know what the fuck you're going to do. Like, yeah. you're, you know you're going to give dances, you know you're going to go on stage, but like, you don't know how many dances, you don't know how irritating that customer's going to be, you don't know how drunk that customer's going to be. God damn. Like. Hey, you know what, you, me as managing, I, I would witness, I witnessed a uh, customer, he got, he went, got a dance, he was, he seemed normal, mm -hmm. cool, and he got butt naked, like fucking butt naked, Instantly. and then the dancer runs out, like, hey, get him out of here. And I go back there and I'm like, I'm not about to get this butt naked dude out of here. What the fuck am I going to do? I call the security <laughs> like, hey, you guys got... You still got to deal with this I, shit because it is not, not a, my problem. I'm not about to grab this. And he's, he's bigger than me. I'm a fat guy, right? But this motherfucker, he ain't got to be about 400 pounds. So... Um, he's butt ass naked. Butt naked. So have you... Motherfuckers have, are weird as shit. Let me tell weird, you. Weird, right? I've learned that there is a lot... Like there are some men that suck and are really shitty and gross... But I would honestly say it's not the majority. So you say some of us are good guys. I'd say more more guys are good, honestly. They're just it's like the silent majority. See, some of us like got... every like the like the motherfuckers that suck are just so loud and obnoxious about how trash they are. Mm. And then like the good guys are just like being good quietly, like normal human beings. Yeah. See, if I, if I go to a strip club, right? Mm -hmm. um, since I ran a strip club, I want to go, and I know. I, Maybe that's a, I don't know if that's a, a bad thing, but I want to tip everybody. Like yeah. I want to tip my bartender, I want to tip the DJ, I want to tip everybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm, hey, play my song. Uh -huh. yeah. I'll give you fucking whatever. Yeah. Um, but I do realize that a lot of the customers that come in there, they might judge the dancers. And, and I'm thinking in my head, like, why would you judge the dancers? With, like, who are you? Literally, that's the other thing. Like, my right. will come and be like, well, what are you really going to do with your life? And I'm like, bro, you're like 50 and sad with your whole life, and you're worried about me? Like, yeah. I'm happy in 23. Like, well, I'm 24 now, but like, you're, you're worried old? about me. I'm 24. Just, oh, I thought you said 44. I'm like, no, I'm I'm like damn, baby, look. Yeah, got <laughs> but like, yeah, they'll come in and like judge you and like, like question your whole life. And it's like, dude, who are you? Like, it is none of your business what I'm doing with my life. How about yeah. stripping? I don't think strippers are not supportive of each other at all. Yeah. So what's they the difference? Don't like each other. Strippers don't like. So what's the difference between strippers and porn stars? That's what um, I want to know. I think that porn stars have more. We work together better and we're more connected because like we need each other to work. Mm. Like you can't fuck without the other. They can't fuck someone without the someone. Yeah. So I think that porn stars were more. 
we're more supportive of each other because we like succeed together. And I feel like shipping is more competitive. Shipping. So girls are more like shippers are trying to get that money. Yeah, and they're more aggressive and uh. not a team player ever. Okay, so now that you are sh are, are uh, doing porn. Um, is there anything, like, any pet peeves that you might encounter? Like, I don't like this, I don't want this. What, what are some of your pet peeves to shooting porn? Um, pet peeves shooting porn? Yeah. Because uh, the, the other girl... Indecisive directors. That one pisses me off. Indecisive directors? Yes. Well, like, explain that. Like, cause... if we're on set and we, you are debating, like, how to shoot something for... Like, if you every single, like position if we're spending 10 minutes debating how we want to shoot it i'm like bro this is your job homie Damn. like can you just tell me like tell what us what to fuck, fuck to want. do so we can do it and we go fuck home yeah. like your whole job is to direct direct hey, please hey, you, you want to know something <laughs> you got some fucking nice eyes goddamn i ain't even trying to flirt with you but she does in my, in my it's line. okay if you are. You, you can flirt with me. I wouldn't be I'm Well, I'll flirt with you, but she does got some. Look at this fucking eyes. Look at this fucking eyes. God damn. Yeah, <laughs> All right, so th there's indecisive. That's uh, not my only pet peeve on Southern on that. I love everybody. What about dudes? Because uh, some girl just told me that she shot with a gang of dudes that smell like mildew. And I was like, baby. Oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah. yeah you, you shoot I've definitely had, like, to, like, I've, like, pulled a director aside and been like, you need to tell that motherfucker to shower because you I'm tell, not. You tell them. Yes, I'll be like, I won't tell the dude himself. Be like, you smell like shit. Maybe go take a shower. They smell like shit? Like actual there's, shit? There's, there's been, yeah, there's been, there's been a dude or two. But I'll, you pull the director aside and you're like, hey, you need to tell that man to take a fucking shower. I've said it about a girl, too. There was a girl that I was like, she needs to take a shower because... You should give him a bar of soap or something. Yeah, I'd be like, can someone monitor the shower? Bring like, some Lysol. Him? Hey, right? Uh, <laughs> some Lysol every fucking shoot you do. Yeah, just, just be clean. It's, I just like, feel like you, you know where you're going. You know what you're here to do. All right, so what are your turn-ons with them? Like, what, what turns you on? Besides Alpha. besides muscles and what you cowboys. I'm not a fucking cowboy. What the fuck is... Like, I could be a Mexican cowboy. Want me to be that? I'll be, man. <laughs> there you go, man. Whatever you I, want I to be. Gotta, I gotta fucking hit the weights, though. God damn. Yeah. Okay, what else you like? Um, I like... I like alpha men. I like confidence. I like... Like, I like that you... Capture attention in a room. That you, like... You own a room when you walk into it. You're like that a makes fucking sense. leader. I like a leader. I like alpha men. You're like a fucking Mac Daddy. Yes. Like me. I'm <laughs> a fucking Mac Daddy, baby. When you see me walk out, oh, you see a fucking Mac Daddy. Mm -hmm. Real shit. Go. You Real you don't know. <laughs> but when you see some videos, you're going to see. He knows. He knows. When I go into a club, mm -hmm. you see a fucking Mac Daddy. There we go. And I ain't even trying to boast. All right. <laughs> this so, sound like it at all. Nah. So, okay. Sexually, right? Mm -hmm. Um... What is something that really turns you on uh, sexually? Um, dominance, like him being dominant. You like a dominant man. Yeah. Not. I don't. I don't like no pussy. You don't want to be. I don't want you to be like. Can you get in this position? Like fucking throw my ass in the position. Like. Yeah. What position is that? Like any I'm, of them. Yeah. Just. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Are you easy to make come? Oh yeah. Yeah. How do yeah. you make you come? J exist. Exist? Just, Put your dick just, in me and I'm coming, probably. Oh, so if I'm just doing it, I'm like, hey. And then it doesn't the take much. No, but I you're like, what, easy. But, but I don't have muscles and stuff, so what, 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 what? If but, I don't have muscles, how do I make you come? I don't think the muscles are, I mean, the muscles are part of it, for sure. I mean, yeah, but if I'm just passionate. <laughs> <laughs> what if oh, I, was, no, I come pretty what if easy. I you, you, said you, watched, you said you watched my porn. It's, I come pretty easy. Hey, you know what? I did watch your porn. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Let me check her out. So I watched a couple videos of you, right? Mm -hmm. I watched one like you were like in a car, and the guy was like, I don't know. What the fuck is this? And I changed that shit because it's boring. Yeah, I think there's two that I'm in a car, and they're both boring. I know I, boring, I don't right? know which one you watched, but there are two. Yeah, but And both times I was like, I don't even want to film this shit. Like, I know yeah. it's going to not it. Okay, how do you deal with somebody you're not into? Like, like have yeah. you dealt with somebody yeah. you're not You have? You just got to remind yourself that, like, this is a job, and I am a professional. And you got to... And, like, if it doesn't matter how I feel personally, it matters how it looks. And, like, I'm mm. not going to let there be bad like i'm not gonna perform badly because this motherfucker sucks like it's my career it's my image like i'm gonna do my job yeah okay the so way I'm, that i would do it either way okay i'm gonna be honest so i was i was chilling right and i had a girlfriend at this time when mm -hmm. i first when they said hey you gotta interview kelsey kane mm -hmm. i'm like all right i'll interview her whatever so i guess i must have looked at some of your pornography right mm -hmm. And my girlfriend, or she was kind of like a girlfriend at the time, mm -hmm. she saw that on my history. Mm -hmm. She went on my phone. I said, bitch, 
Why are you looking at my fucking history? And we don't, we don't fuck with people like that, but keep going. Yeah, so she up. looked at She's like, who's Kelsey Kane? I said, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't fucking know her. I, Google, um, I Googled her. Googled her. She looked at she's my shit. She's a bitch shit. on the phone. <laughs> she looked at my shit and she saw you, right? Mm -hmm. And she she wanted to break up with me. So, so, <laughs> I'm, we're, so I'm, I'm broken up, which is cool. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. I'm so sorry. That's I cool. think this is the most distant <laughs> breakup I've ever got. <laughs> I didn't even meet the motherfucker yet. And a friend and girlfriend hated uh, him because of me. So what do you say about that? Like, what do you say about like, what what's your what what do you think about that? Because I mean, I, that's I fucked up. But I think it's shitty that she went through your phone. That's that's we don't. That's fucked up, right? That's super fucked up. Yeah. I don't fuck with people who go through other people's shit. Like that's. And then not, she seen you, right? And then saw me and got mad. Well, that's not. I mean, not what happens. do you think? You think most girls will get mad if they see you? I mean, it's happened before. Like, I've had many, like, I've had, like, guy friends get a girlfriend and, like, we are not allowed to be friends anymore. Because, because of you. Because of me, yeah. Because how I look. What, what's something guys like about you? My ass. I think that was pretty I obvious love your ass. based on how you I reacted to it. I love your ass, baby. I love your ass. I, I would have motorboated your ass, but I'm respectful. I'm a gentleman, baby. I appreciate that. I'm a gentleman. Okay, be shooting porn, is there a lot of weird motherfuckers out there? Yeah. I mean, like, yes and no. How about at the AVNs? I mean, yeah. Yeah? What, what, what are they? What are they? I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of weird people everywhere. Do you think everybody's weird? No. I mean, everyone's weird in their own way. I think weird's good. So I'm weird, right? But I'm weird, too. I, I'm, I'm weird, but I'm I fucked at the I'm World Series. Like, I mean, that's not normal. Yeah, that is true. That's true. Fucking at the World Series, mm -hmm. that's crazy. So, like, if a girl was to reject me, I would be like, fuck that bitch. Like, there's a million other bitches out That's there. That's what I always say. Like, if I if you don't want me, like, I don't want you. Like, if I don't want someone who doesn't want me, like, yeah, I'm right. not going to convince you to want me. Like, if yeah. you don't want me, that's fine. Like, it is I what it is. I want that wants someone me. who wants me. Yeah. yeah. I know my value. And exactly. I know how great I am. And if somebody can of see it or value it. I'm not going to spend my energy convincing you of it. Yeah. Like, I'll just find someone who, like... Yeah, you see? No, that wants me, you know? That's all good. All if right. you don't like me, you don't like me. That's cool. Don't yeah. be my fan. Not my problem. So, shoe and porn, mm -hmm. um, uh, as far as, like, other girls trying to get into porn, um, do you recommend them getting into it or not? Um, if you really want to, I would say yes. If you're, I would not, like, if someone's like, I don't know at all. Like, if they're not, like, I don't know, I would say... Make a decision on your own. Don't let someone convince you. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to do it, I say do it. It's the best thing I ever did. Changed my life, and it is the best decision I ever made. Is shooting porn better than sh actually shipping, though? In my opinion, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I, I personally like it a lot better. I'm sure there's girls that would say differently. But personally, I like it a lot better. I think it's safer. I think it's easier on my mental health than dancing whatever was. I don't know. I think it's better. Way better. Yeah. See, I mean, I, I love porn and I hate dancing now. So. Yeah, porn. Okay, so you, you're more of a porn. You're leading to that direction. Yeah. Um, do you deal with guys being judgmental as far as you shooting porn? Um, in the beginning I did, and then I stopped surrounding myself with people who are closed-minded and shitty. Like, yeah. if you're going to talk shit about me for my job choice, I really have no interest in you being in my life. What's something that, like, maybe you would want people that don't know about you porn actresses? What's something on a positive note? What's something that maybe an outsider you would like them to know on a positive tip about what you guys do and how you guys do it and i just want to do something like, like we're just regular ass people mm -hmm. like we do porn like we fuck on the internet and everything but like we we drive home we brush our teeth we watch tv on the couch we like go to the gym we go out to eat like we do all the same shit you do we get pissed off in traffic you know like we're just regular people and sometimes i feel like people idolize us and think we're not mm -hmm. humans do we were just normal ass motherfuckers, just just like you. Do you think uh, girls that do not shoe porn, do you think they're any different than you? Um, different in ways, but like not totally. I think that girls who shoot porn are a little bit more open minded, more comfortable, more confident in themselves usually. But I don't think that there's like huge differences, just like life choices. I mean, porn is definitely not for everybody. Like I feel like it doesn't it doesn't make a difference whether you strip or do porn or escort or whatever, whatever you do. Same shit, all, right? All sex work is sex work. Sex work, sex work. Yeah. All right. So um, I want to know also, um, like, what do you got coming up? What can we expect? And are you dancing somewhere where fans can see you dancing? Or yeah. What? The only place I've been dancing is Spearmint Rhino. Um, I don't know how much I'll be there. It's, I might. It's Vegas, right? It's Vegas. Yeah. Vegas, Vegas right. Spearmint okay. Rhino. Um, but I always try to post when I'm there. Um, I'm trying to be better about posting like in advance when I'm gonna work, but I don't always 
Sometimes I just decide. Is that kind of like a full time thing, or is that kind of? Like... It's very part time. I yeah. literally work like every few weeks, like one night every mm. few weeks. Got it. Um, and then, but other than that, I got a lot of got a lot of new videos coming out. Um, what you got? What you got coming out? Because I want to know. I got. I just got a whole bunch. I got a whole bunch of new VR. But you stuff got on OnlyFans, cause like. Oh, the, my only. The fans, last girl that I have. I had a scene drop with Johnny Sins today. My only. Oh yeah, is it good? Cause a a girl. No. Tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Okay, a girl showed me her OnlyFans, cause people were complaining. They were like, ah, I, I paid fifteen dollars for that OnlyFans. It was horrible. Everybody was complaining. So I'm like, what's well? Let me check it out. Mm. So I checked it out. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad OnlyFans, mm -hmm. but they were complaining about it. Yeah. So what? would you say to the people that might want to subscribe or how can they subscribe or what advice would you give to somebody that might want to subscribe to your content? Yeah, so I would say definitely subscribe. Um, my OnlyFans is, it's it's uh, paid per month, but I believe it's only around 10 bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. I changed it not that long ago and I don't remember exactly what I changed it to. Um, but it's around there. Um, I post every day, post multiple times a day. Um, I'm on there all the time, not all the time, but a very large amount of, I spend a lot of time on there messaging my fans. Um, it's the best way to talk to me if you do want to talk to me. OnlyFans oh, is definitely the way to go to. All right, cool. Well, I appreciate you for taking the time. Yeah, I know you, you got to go back to the AVNs, I right? Do. I am Kelsey Kane. Thank you very much to the Gentleman's Club Diary for having me on today.